So we've been carrying the MIP for a while now. The MIP is a small robotic toy that's uh, self-balancing that you can control with a Bluetooth uh, iPhone or a, uh, an Android phone. And uh, in the past, we haven't quite shown it so much love. <laughs> well... To make amends for our uh, seemingly hatred of the MIP, uh, we decided to make this little board here the MIP Pro Mini Pack. The Pro Mini Pack is a Pro Mini Arduino that's running at 8 megahertz and 3.3 volts. We found that there's a, a nice little hacking port that is on the uh, inside of the circuit board. Uh, we've broken out the UART into this little port which attaches to the hacking port inside the MIP. Since it's using simple serial commands, we can now use the Pro Mini to um, essentially take over the brain of the MIP and uh, make it do our bidding. Now, the cool thing is if you've ever seen the FTDI Smart Basic, there was this nifty little switch that lets you switch between two UARTs. Well, we've uh, thrown that circuit on this board so you can use the Pro Mini to talk to the MIP and you can also talk to the serial console. Installing this board on your MIP is, is quite simple. As you can see on the back, you remove the battery plate and replace it with this board. The first thing to do is remove the wheels you need to drill a small hole in the cover of the wheel because the screws are actually epoxied under this little piece of plastic. Once the wheels are removed, there's going to be a few screws on the back of the MIP. Go ahead and unscrew those. The two arms will likely just fall out. Once the back half is uh, separated, you'll actually need to pull the, these three little cables apart. One of them is the power from the battery pack, one of them is the power switch, and then the last one is the speaker. They're all polarized and color-coded, so it's pretty hard to uh, lose track of which one goes where. Take a nice Sharpie or some sort of a pen and just try to scribble a little section of where you want to cut a hole for the expansion cable. We used a Dremel once again to drill the hole out. The battery pack, uh, you can see there's this little piece of plastic on it. First, we're going to remove the stock screws. Once that's undone, the back shell uh, for the battery pack is actually not necessary anymore. We're going to use the 440 half inch screws and uh, push them right through the plastic to install the Pro Mini Pack onto the back of the battery. To put the halves of the MIP back together, uh, we have the expansion cable. So first what we're going to do is install the expansion cable into the MIP. Then you'll slowly thread it back through the back half of the shell. Carefully, try to reassemble the MIP as best as you can and get the eight screws uh, back where they were. Now that we have the MIP reassembled, the Pro Mini Pack now attached to the battery, we can go ahead and connect the program cable, add batteries. We can then reinstall the new battery pack using the new three millimeter screws as shown in the hookup guide and uh, you're ready to go. Once everything's installed, um, Fire it up and uh, see what kind of demo code we, we gave it. As you can see, the, the demo we provided um, is, is very simple. The idea is just to show you that you can take over the brain of the MIP, uh, make it burp and drive forward and turn right. So we decided to take that just one step further and create the Mad Max MIP.